guys it's Jonathan with Rare Free Moto today I'm going to be trying to get a little bit more sound out of the Harley 114 uh, Harley Fat Boy 114 rather uh, by removing the the fiberglass from the baffles on my Vance and Hines Eliminator PCX 300 exhaust so if you've got a Harley Softail and you've got these Vance and Hines PCX Eliminators you know they're a great exhaust but um, and they sound good when you really tune them up however you can barely hear them the rest of the time so I'm hoping that by removing the fiberglass uh, packing from around the baffles that'll kind of free up the, the sound just a little bit without the sound uh, being too tinny or hollow so in order to remove the fiberglass uh, wrapping from the baffles there's two screws uh, on the tips of the exhaust pipes here one is going to be right under there and one's going to be over here uh, on each on each uh, pipe now i've found out the hard way that these are actually security torx uh screws and so i had to order off of amazon this nico nico whatever security bit set it was 14 dollars and 22 cents i think for the whole set and I really only needed one one uh, piece, but for 14 bucks, I get all this. Uh, that's pretty good. It is made in China, but um, you know that's everything on Amazon, so I'm not really surprised by that. Uh, so it came with everything you see here, uh, except for the socket wrench. So we're going to go ahead and take these off and try to pull out the baffles so we can remove the wrapping okay I've got uh, almost all the screws off just this last one here and uh, before I take the screws off I just wanted to let you know that one other thing that you should have on hand other than a pair of pliers will, or channel locks will probably need to um, pull the possibly pull the the wrap out is uh, some blue Loctite uh, for these screws as you can see, there's blue Loctite uh, or something similar to them uh, that kind of hold them on. And so when we put them back on, we're going to put a little bit of blue Loctite um, on there as well. Well, I wanted to give you a progress report, and uh, it's not pretty. And you may disagree with this method, but this is the only method that I've found that is working, and that is to very carefully insert a screwdriver and uh, very, uh, actually not that screwdriver, I was using this one wooden handled one, uh, but very, very lightly tapping uh, on the, with a hammer. You could probably, should probably use a, a rubber, rubber mallet but it's actually starting to come out now. So I'm sure some of you are gonna be cringing, but uh, I, am, I am determined. All right, so now you can see that the baffle is coming out. And so, okay, that is the baffle. And then you see inside the pipe there, you have that fiberglass packing. That's what I'm going to be taking out and hoping that by removing that, we get a little bit more sound out of these pipes. I'm going to get a cloth to kind of lay this baffle down on because it is attached to this end cap and I don't want to scratch this end cap any more than I need to. All right, now that I've got that safely laid down, we'll see if... See how easily this stuff comes out. It's kind of, it's got some plastic. This is fiberglass, so. 
do have some channel locks here. Let's see if grab a hold of it with that. <laughs> well, we're making progress, but we don't want it to keep ripping that because If I continue to rip it, I'm not going to be able to get it out. All right, so <laughs> I twisted it with the channel locks several times to the right, pulled on it a little bit. The whole motorcycle was starting to slide backwards, so that wasn't getting me anywhere. So then I pulled it, twisted it the other way back to the left, and then I pulled on it, and it's like twist, so twist right, and then twist back to the left. And I think the whole thing came out. Um, I mean, there might be a little bit left in there, Let's see. Yeah, oh, there's like one tiny, tiny piece. But compared to the other side where there's still a bunch left, there is uh, all of it's gone on the bottom pipe. So now we can repack the baffles or at least see if we can make any progress with that. Before I repack the baffles, I'm going to start it up and blow anything else out that I can. And you'll notice how loud it is. Sounds awesome, but that'll make me deaf. So let's put these baffles back in. Okay, don't forget your blue Loctite thread locker, just a little bit. That's a little more than I was hoping for. Just a little bit of blue Loctite. All right, I finally got everything back together and I'm going to wipe down my pipes and everything in just a moment, but real quick, we'll do a comparison sound test.
All right, we're going to test this out. Test out these newly, uh, well, these pipes with out the packing around the baffles, and we'll see if we got some more sound out of them. Right off the bat, it does seem like there is a little bit more sound coming out of these pipes. Idle's right where it should be. Let's roll. Get out of this uh, parking lot before I start really rolling on the throttle.
Kirby and hopefully we'll get a nice soundtrack.
cell pop. Not doesn't seem like it's running too rich. I can hear the bike just a little bit more. Which we may be sitting here a while. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Rev Free Moto, please subscribe and pre please remember to like the video as well. If you have the uh, eliminators and you like the way they sound um, from the well from Vance and Hines, uh, and you you want to get just to squeeze a little bit more sound out of them without having to do a retune uh, or anything crazy, then uh, in the world. Um, then uh, I would definitely recommend it. So far, it uh, seems to be a good thing. And like I said, that's a good. That's I'm thankful because uh, I don't think I could undo this. <laughs> uh, that fiberglass, I ripped it out in so many pieces. I don't think it's going back in anytime soon. Um, so yeah, just remember uh, it's who you're becoming who, that matters most. And uh, appreciate you uh, watching the video today. We'll see you in the next one, guys.